Hello everyone and welcome back to another NASCAR Racing 2003 live stream. How is everyone doing today? Thank you very much for joining in. Right off the bat, if you guys could please hit the like button and subscribe, I would really appreciate it. And while you're doing that, if you would also like to go follow me on Twitch, because I am streaming on there as well, it's more convenient for you to do that. And right as I say that, apparently the stream isn't showing up. There we go. So yeah, as you guys can see, I am streaming on Twitch as I speak. If you guys want to be really awesome and help support this channel and get some cool rewards in return, you can also go check out my Patreon page. I'd really appreciate if you did. Thank you so much to Ryan Fitzy for your support on there. Really appreciate it, man. I am also on Facebook and Twitter as well if you're interested in following me on social media. Now that I'm done rambling about all my self-proclaiming pages and myself uh advertising pages let's get right into the video as you can tell by the title i'm going to be attempting to, for the third time to recreate trevor boys's 1984 talladega flip and we don't really need to check it out in any more detail you i've shown the replay before you saw the wreck and the weight screen we're just going to jump right in. Here's the proper paint scheme we need for the Arrow 88 mod, his 1984 number 48. Hilton McCaig racing, whatever Hilton McCaig is. We're going to be using good old Talladega 70s, 80s for this one. One of my favorite tracks. So first off, I just want to try a few uh, attempts in practice. If we can get a decent line of cars that you saw that he was in, I might not have to do a race every single attempt. Right, so let's get up to speed. For those of you that have seen me mess around with this version of Talladega before you know it's heavily modded for Rex and this video is no exception so I believe he got tapped in the rear bumper coming to the pits shoot Eh, wasn't a terrible first attempt. I just think I get airborne just a little too late. I flipped like too, too many times. But aside from that, wasn't terrible. Definitely could have been worse attempt. And yes, I did believe I saw your tweet the other day, Topical. You are just saying you changed your name. And by the way, thanks to Random Man, Traveling, Toy Guy, Ryan Fixie, Motorsports Nation, and Real Gamer. Thanks to all you guys for joining in. I appreciate you guys watching this. We gotta wait for some cars to catch up. He wasn't just all by himself. next lap because we got a pack of about a half dozen cars coming up behind me about two seconds back. Led by none other than Kaylee Yarbrough. Alright, hurry up Kale. Shoot. God damn it, all that waiting. I messed up the attempt. <laughs> I 
I just flipped in turn three instead. Well, that just shows it's possible to do blowovers on the banking, kind of. Alright, let's try that again and not waste this attempt. I tried to block that line of cars coming up, I didn't realize how fast they were. How fast they were coming up. I'm gonna slow down and wait a little bit for this pack about four seconds back to catch up. Maybe I can block these guys too, get a little drafting line going on of all of them. I'll let this group go in front of me and then I'll wait for these guys about a second and a half to come up right behind me. I tried to block. Well, I tried. <laughs> That one dude slowed down this uh, 16 or 15, whoever that is, 16, and slowed down everyone else, so I just tried downshifting to see if that could do anything. Instead, I just hit that wall. 8-bit, Nexus Comet, Gamer Boy, Gangster Boss, thanks for joining in. Appreciate all you guys watching this right now. If you haven't yet, please hit the like button and subscribe. If you enjoy these videos. Whoa, drift. Alright, it's not as big of a line of cars as they were in. But I'm just going to try it this time. I don't want to wait an entire another lap. Bastard. Keep my car straightened out after that. <laughs> no! That's what I was trying to avoid. All that and I still hit the wall. <laughs> Alright, perfect. We've got a nice group of cars coming up right now. Merge in with these guys, have one of them spin me out, I'm coming into the trioval. Need to flip, basic start getting airborne right on pit road, basically. Darn it. Just hit that stupid wall again. That one's not even worth a replay, but we'll just watch it quickly anyway. For anyone new joining in that's... Wondering what I'm attempting to recreate. Here we'll just have a little refresh right here. Need to get airborne, slide down pit road a little bit, hit the grass on the other side of pit road, tumble a couple times, and land back on my wheels. All right. I'm not gonna be able to block these guys. Looks like it. Alright, perfect. Hopefully I can get spun by one of these guys. Actually go upside down this time. Well, that 
was a little too high. That was closer to Ricky Rudd in 84 than anything else. Alright, that one was a little too intense. I'll try slamming on the brakes this next attempt, like as soon as I get backwards and airborne. Maybe that'll slow me down a little bit. Talladega is the most popular track for reenactments this month. This week in particular, if you guys notice, every single Can I Recreate I scheduled this week was at Talladega. And the same thing with Charlotte last week. I'm trying to stick to that schedule. But you can't be perfect all the time. Nothing. Does that count as a save if I never hit anything? As I hit the wall right there. <laughs> Just gonna use the same car. Looks like we got another pack coming up about five seconds behind me. Two and a half seconds. So I need some Kansas related reenactments you guys want to see me do for next week. I already got some miscellaneous ones planned, but I couldn't think of too many Kansas ones, so I need your suggestions. Maybe I'll try Bush and Logano's wreck the second time. Whoops. <laughs> I just absolutely drilled a car that was coming into the pits. Yeah, that 26 car got an unexpected surprise. Morgan Shepard. All right, let's try that again. Oh yeah, I meant to say, if you guys have suggestions, just wait till the live stream's over and throw them in the comments. I can see them way easier then. And I'll be able to remember them way easier then. So then I can come back and see them way easier. So save. I'd love to hear your suggestions. Just save them for the comments once the live video itself is done and it's done processing. The comments show back up. Why did I just stop when I was sideways and didn't keep going airborne? Okay, you're clear of pit lane. Hey, I saved it. guys. Lake Speed, No Bonnet, Ricky Rudd and company. So shoot, I might just eat those words. They're coming up really fast now.
Damn it. Why does that keep happening? Why do I, like, get up on my side, then kind of stop and then come back down? I want to get backwards and flip all the way up and over. What do I need to do, or which direction do I need to change the steering wheel, or turn the steering wheel? Whoa, there's going to be a big wreck. Actually turn down the panic D-cell a little bit. I unmodded the track just a little bit. Who was that in the 75? Doesn't matter, I gotta restart the session. Too many wrecked cars from that. these guys. It's gonna let a couple go by. So I believe Trevor was in the middle of that little line of cars when he got sideways. Alright, which direction do I need to turn the wheel, or which pedal do I need to hit to where every single time I spin and get airborne, this doesn't keep happening. Where I kind of lift up and then just come back down. Kind of like Ricky Stenhouse 2008 style. Or, uh, what's his face? Metallic. Oh my god, what? who the hell was the bigger guy that I cannot think of? Who raced in like the 90s? And he got airborne in Talladega in the early 90s. Oh, why the fuck can I not think of his name? It's on the tip of my tongue. He had the fight with Kurt Busch in Michigan. Jesus Christ, I'm not even gonna look at the chat until I think of it myself because that's gonna bug me if I can't remember that. <laughs> Jesus. I feel like an idiot. You guys all know exactly who I'm talking about. Someone said just try letting go of the wheel. Ow. I just got destroyed by BP. Oh yeah, Jimmy Spencer. Duh, that's it. <laughs> Why could I not think of that? I was watching old uh, 80s, 70s and 80s Daytona and Talladega wrecks this morning. This one right here kind of reminded me of that Phil Finney wreck. I couldn't remember if that's uh, at Daytona or Talladega. I want to say it was Daytona. That kind of reminded me of that rack right there. Maybe I'll try to recreate that one at some point. Let's go through the tow truck and the ambulance. The ambulance. Alright, someone said let go of the wheel. Someone else said don't let off the gas. Alright, so this next time I spin, I'll do both. I'll let go of the wheel and I'll keep in the gas. Someone else is saying try hold on to the brakes. I'll try that after this one. So for someone I'll let go of the wheel while holding the gas. Then the next attempt, I will let go of the wheel and hold the brakes when I get airborne. Go over 
Alright. Well, I got all the way up and over. I think holding the gas might have done something. It actually allowed me to spin all the way around. I just... I think I spun a little too early that time, actually, because I was airborne before I got to pit road. So I'll try that same method again. I'll just try spinning in the right spot because I spun a little too soon and ended up hitting that inside wall. Oops, for some reason, god damn it, I accidentally hit the brakes that time. I think hitting the brakes is what's messing me up. Because I think that's what I kept doing on those attempts where... I just kept floating back down to the ground. So yeah, I keep instinctively putting my foot on the brake when I get spun. So I'll try to fight that instinct this time, and I need to let go of the wheel and hit the gas when I get airborne. I just need to s spin at the right spot, and not too early, not too late. Got a couple more cars get past me, alright. hit the... I was holding onto the gas that time. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Whoa. This is gonna hurt. They somehow all avoided me. Maybe I spun a little too slow that time. Oh, I'm just trying to think. Whoops. Back when Dale Earnhardt and Ricky Rudd had the same paint scheme. stay in this pack and just do it on the next lap. Apparently I'm faster in third gear than I am fourth. It happens sometimes in super speedways with the CTS physics. Depends on whatever setup you're using at the time. Oh, come on! I had the perfect setup and then the dude went to the pits. The dude who I was going to have spin me. Alright, I'll try this lap. I don't think they were quite too wide the entire way deep, but whatever, it'll work. Don't go over 
That was that close from possibly being decent. If instead of grabbing onto the grass right here and sending me back flipping this way, if I could have just slid back down to my roof like it was looking like I was going to do right there and landed upside down on the grass, that might have been a decent blowover. But nope. My nose had to get caught in that grass and send me flipping a weird way. Oh. Awkward moment when your wheels turn the wrong way after you respawn. pits a little bit faster than I did. Oh, that's going to end badly. Somehow not worse than it did. Four seconds because there's a huge pack coming up that I can merge in with. We got three wide behind me, trying to let a couple of them pass, but not too many got passed. All right, well, I'll try spinning here. Poopy. Nice arc of brakes, buddy. Oh, try another one. Right, seven seconds behind me. We got some cars coming up. I'm just trying to wait for a little pack of cars each time I try this wreck because that's what the setup was like in real life. I don't want to just be by myself spinning myself out every time because that would look silly if I didn't get a good one. Sadly, that was probably like the second closest one this entire video so far. It's probably second closest to that first one. And yeah, it wasn't even close at all. So that's not saying much. See any cars coming up? Let me help. Seven seconds back. We got a cluster of three. Oh, I'm just gonna wait a little bit longer. Perfect. Got them kind of single filed out and I'm right in the middle. Nope. 
That was almost basically a sideways blowover. I almost got all the way upside down, except I just flipped right back on my wheels right away. And they're floating, coming into the pits. Got another small group coming up. Literally three cars. It's better than nothing. times has to be fucking close. Limit 70. Keep it under 6500. Went too high that time. Hit the wall. Flipped too many times. That one was weird in many ways. Ouch. I would have probably caved the roof in if that was real life. Roof first, right on the concrete. Good feeling about this one. This yellow car will catch up. Nope. So I guess we're waiting another lap. behind me. That one was lame. Wait for it. Wait for it. Oh, so close. There we go. Man. Give myself a 9.5 for sticking that landing right there. <laughs> yes, I was purposely trying to cause a big wreck right there if you couldn't tell. How violent of a flip that was. That was a pretty soft landing. Gets drilled, flips over right there, and then gently back on the wheels. Baker and company need to join into your pack so I can flip over and get this damn reenactment done with. Sixty 
Same thing. God damn it. Is that even damage my car? I see a little bit of cosmetic roof damage. I don't know if that injured the engine at all. Did I just say injured the engine? Put a band-aid on the engine to repair it. I'm waiting for Combs, Marcus, and Marlin. Going a little bit slow. Excuse me. That was very unladylike. Limit seventy. Keep it under sixty-five hundred in second. Ouch. Well, that was unintentional. Whoops. Let's try that again. Or should I say, next? Try to block these guys. Didn't really work. It kind of did. I'm trying next lap. Darn it. It's probably the closest I've had to a proper blowover for this wreck, sadly. Oh, darn it. That was the closest I was going to have to a po proper blowover. If I could have stayed on my roof before I hit the grass the second time, that would one could have been decent. Oh, I just missed that back. driving at its finest right there.
All right, here's the rollover contest. Who flipped over more times, me or Earnhardt? Actually, it looks like Earnhardt probably won that time. I think that's a really cool pain scheme from Earnhardt. Isn't that the same one Earnhardt had when he won at Talladega or uh, Daytona in 2010? Shoot. All right. Come on, Elliot and Dwyer. And the guys behind you. It's the Earnhardt imposter. God damn you. Buddy Baker. Ouch. Did you guys see that though? It was one of the rare side blowovers in this game. Where you have to have the conditions just right. I know it was nowhere near the same era, cars, series, person, car number, etc. But just the way the car flipped reminded me of, uh, at least the way I started to blow over reminded me of Mike Wallace, 2011. If you guys remember that one. Save it. I mean, I can just for what? All right, hurry up, guys. Three seconds back. Next lap. So we got a decent pack now. Yeah, a decent little pack. You can get some drafting steam going. Yes, I just said drafting steam. The blowover was probably the closest I've had to being real. Just the second half of the flip wasn't that good, and also I didn't like how that other car spun down with me. But the blowover was a step in the right direction. You know what's sad? If that other cat, or uh, if that other cat, if that other cat, if that other car didn't hit me, I might have started flipping the right way once I hit that. Uh, that other part of grass. Because if I hit the grass right here and started flipping, I might have tumbled the right way. Someone said he hit me right there. And sent me spinning. Alright guys, unfortunately, since we're approaching the top of the hour, I do gotta get going soon. This probably be attempt. Second to, or third to last. Wait, 
looking for this group four seconds back. What's up, boy? Darn it. Not close enough, obviously. <laughs> okay, you're clear of pit lane. Ouch. Alright, second to last. Where have you been all day? This is the first I saw you. Where have you been hiding at? Oh, damn it. There's no other group of cars around me, but I'm not I'm slowing down five seconds just to wait for a group of three cars. So I'm just going to do it in this attempt. Watch me get the exact perfect attempt right here, but I'm not in a group of cars, so it'll look really bad. That was interesting. Basically just took a ride on the wild side. <laughs> Yeah, I was basically uh, riding on top of that other car for a second. Ouch. Alright, guys. Last attempt. Alright, you're getting too shaky. Get down. Spread out again. Keep it under sixty five hundred in second. Okay, you're clear of this way. Shoot. Keep it under sixty five hundred in second. Okay, you're clear of this way. What is the hardest reenactment I have done? That was a good question. I have to think of an answer. If it's one that I already completed, probably have to say Rusty Wallace 93 Talladega. Just from how lucky I got it, like a perfect attempt. Everything was spot on, and yet there's so many aspects to that flip. There's so many details I had to get right. I don't know why me saying details right there came out weird. Details. Limit 70. Keep it under 6,500 in second. God damn it. You all right? No, I'm not. Look at my car. Alright, so looks like we're gonna have to do part four. Or unless I could just get it in my free time at some point. Alright, what was I gonna do? I'm going to use this mod, and since I tweaked Talladega 70s, 80s, so it's not quite as crashy and glitchy as it usually is, so I could actually use it for this Can I Recreate video, so I'm not going to X out and remodify Talladega 70s, 80s back to how I had it, but with this mod, I will go to, uh, what do you call it, Pig's Creek, and do a little bit of messing around for a couple laps so I can go up like to 260 miles an hour I 
Turn this up to 100. All right, let's do this. Shoot, I just saw something I gotta turn off. Turning off full of pace lap for this. So with how giant this track is, the little warm up pace lap is long enough is long enough as it is. Cloudy. Ominous. Fitting. Alright, so we'll do two races where I just go the correct way, get like warmed up a lap and then try to cause as big a wreck as I can from the front, then I'll do one going the wrong way. As is tradition. This is uh, Pig's Creek version 2. I'm not sure if I've ever found or used the original. Because more often than I always thought this was the Pig's Creek, but more often than not, when I see Pig's Creek videos, other people use it's version 1. Alright, so I don't care about Black Flag. I'm just going to the front. I'm cutting line so I can try to cause a big, massive wreck at the front. Oh, wait till I, uh. Oh. Almost spun out right there. I always get loose in that turn. I'll wait till the front stretch. In that little narrow part right before the start finish line to start a wreck. But man, we are flying. second you lose that. Holy shit. I didn't even need to wreck. They did it right behind me. Jeez. Boyer had nowhere to go right there. Jeez. All I saw was Truex go flying through the air behind me. Yep, he and Newman, it looks like, got together. Ouch. Go on board with Chase Elliott for this. Jeez. And then, yeah, that's right. I wanted to see Boyer's view. Yeah, that was still his fault. <laughs> Alright, let's do that again. Oh, shoot. I never saved that one sideways blowover from before that I meant to. Whoops. It's okay. With how often I do these streams, there's a really weird and unique wreck basically every stream. Although I don't have the replay recorded, at least it's forever saved in this video itself.
damage. I'm going to do that once more. Wait a lap and try to cause a big wreck, and then for the last time I'm going to go the wrong way like I usually do. I know the perfect spot I'm going to get him going the wrong way. It's on the back stretch on that bridge. Was waiting actually a little bit so I can slingshot around them. I'm gonna try to not get a black flag, even though it doesn't matter. See, we're just having a little bit of momentum to start. Can do. Shoot. That was accidental. But that was actually almost better than probably what I would have done anyway. In terms of number of cars involved. Whoops. Yeah, just like the first eight or so made it through unscathed. No one else could really say the same. Yeah, that was the same bridge area I was talking about that I wanted to get him going the wrong way. Which is what I'm going to do now. Alright, last hurrah. start in about turn four and then turn the wrong way and try to time it perfectly to where I get them coming onto that bridge. Trying to time it perfectly. You've been disqualified for reckless driving. Pace cars in. Pace cars in. Pace cars in. What's green flag. Green flag. All right. Green, green, green. Gonna start accelerating slowly. I don't want to get to the bridge too fast. Actually, see him coming. I'm going to try that once more. I got there just a tad too late. I wanted to get him right before that bridge. I'll try that once more. I could have done better than that. Still want to try to get every single car involved. Jamie Mack upside down. Danica upside down. Kyle Larson upside down. Right, I'm going to try that once more. I can do better than that. I'll give you guys a tad bit of bonus time since I had to start late this time. For technical difficulties, I was having trouble starting this stream. I just had to restart OBS, and that worked.
That was close. If I would have hit that banking, I would have flipped over. Because that grip where that banking is is turned up, so you will flip over. Oh my god. What is this fucking asphalt made out of ice? Lube. time. There we go. That's more what I was going for. To kind of get them right before that bridge so they could all be closed off. Well, I think I got most of them. Definitely got most of them. Let's watch this in super slow mo. All but Joey Logano, Kurt Busch. It's the only unscathed ones, it looks like, so far. As you can see, <laughs> fucking Chase Elliott flying through the air there. Yeah, like maybe four or five cars unscathed. Who got stuck in the fence there? Is that Elliott? I think it was. <laughs> wow. Wasn't expecting it to be quite that big. No, it was Brad Kozlowski that got stuck in the fence. He went on the outside of the track. I don't know if I've ever gotten a car on that side of the, this track before. I don't know if I've ever gotten a car over this outside wall at Pig's Creek. Might as well save that one. I think that's a first. Huge over wall wreck. Alright guys, that is it for this video. Thank you so much again for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please hit the like button and subscribe if you did. Let me know your suggestions for future videos down in the comments below. If you guys want to check me out on social media, I'm on Twitter and Facebook. Links are down in the description. Also, if you want to be super awesome and help support this channel while getting some cool rewards in return, anything from... Getting a sticker and a handwritten thank you sent to you just to just simply a uh, shout out and a thank you in the description and my videos. You can go check out on there. Thank you so much to Ryan Fitzy for your support. I really appreciate it. And that's it for today, guys. Thanks again. Till next time. Hope to see you then. Until then, hope you have a good rest of your day. Peace.